JJ, come on, get up quick. We've got a lot of plans to make today. Mikey, what other plans do we have? We need to get as many diamonds as we can. I want to get busy improving our house. Hmm. That's a good plan. We've been thinking about cool renovations to our houses for a long time, so I agree. Let's go now. Ouch! Where did we fall? Ha ha ha! You fell into my trap and now we will be infected. JJ, get out now and try to catch up with this guy. I'll beat him up. Mikey, what the hell was that all about? I don't get it, and what kind of infestation was he talking about? I don't know. Oh no! JJ, look, something happened to our hands. They turned like we were zombies. What? How is that even possible and why did my hand turn? We have no other choice. We have to run to the doctor immediately and ask if she can help us or not. But before we do, friends, don't forget to subscribe and like us. We really need them at a time like this. Each of your likes will help beat this zombie disease and we can celebrate our victory faster. So help us do it, and we can beat this demon, in case we have plenty of everything. Okay, JJ, we really don't have much time, we need to go to our doctor immediately and have her examine us. You're totally right! The sooner we can figure out how to treat it, the better chance we'll actually be able to cure it. We have one of the best doctors in the village, she should understand exactly how to treat it and what it takes to do it. Do you really think she's encountered some kind of zombie virus before? I think this would be the first time she's had such an experience. We'll check it out and find out now, so we'll just have to wait a little while. Just make sure you don't scare her with your hand. Doctor, we're going in. We need your help right away. My hand and JJ's have turned like part of a zombie. Whoa, really? That's the first time I've ever encountered a zombie arm on any human being. Does that mean you can't help us? I don't know there. Do you want me to give you some medicine? A pill? Unfortunately, they haven't invented anything to fight the zombie virus, so no, I can't help you, no matter how much I'd like to. What should we do in this case? Maybe we should go somewhere and get something that can save us? The way I heard it, there's a secret base nearby, we need to find it and there might be something to do with it. Maybe an antidote? Actually, that's a bit of information, so we'll have to keep following that plan, Mikey. Can't you hear me? Of course I can hear you, we have to continue our adventure as quickly as possible, because I can feel myself turning with every passing second. I can only wish you the best of luck in your quest, I hope everything goes smoothly. Thank you so much for your help. We'll go look for that secret place right away. Oh! My other hand! Mikey, you really got a second hand. What should we do about it? I think we should go back to the very place where we fell and finally find out what that liquid is made of. If we can figure out what it's made of, then we can find something that will help us. That's a very cool idea. If we can understand the cause of the contamination, we can fight against it. You're just a genius. Just don't think it's going to be easy, JJ. We don't even know what we're going to have to work with, so... Be as careful as you can. If I'm not mistaken, the liquid was some kind of acid color. That's the one. It hasn't gone anywhere and what do we do with it? We can't do anything with it. We'll have to clean it up later, but right now we have to go find that room. You think we'll find something? Where are we going to look? In the woods? There's nothing there and there can't be. Of course it's a good idea, JJ, but we're really going to spend a lot of time on this. Apparently there's nothing more we can do, as much as I'd like to. I don't want to turn into a zombie. I want to go on just watching cartoons and eating cookies. Why can't anyone leave us a chance for this peaceful future? We can't give up, JJ. Not this time. We can find our salvation. I saw some strange rooms somewhere already. If you've seen something like that, let's run there immediately, find our vaccine, and we can get on with our normal lives. I really want to do that. Then we need to speed up and run deep into the forest. There we can finally find that big room and get through it. Okay, I'll run right after you and we'll find the right place. We finally reached the very point we need to go through. Apparently this is some kind of test, isn't it, Mikey? Exactly. It's a big, long ordeal. As I understand it, if we can pass them, we'll get an antidote for it all. But the biggest problem is that we've already become real zombies for the most part. 
You have to be very careful. Those iron spikes are electrified. They hit us very hard and hurt us, so don't step on them. This is the most painful challenge, but probably one of the easiest. We have to get through it quickly before we become complete zombies. Mikey, let's not take any breaks. We went through it all in one go and came right back. We don't have much time to rest yet. Yoohoo, we passed the first quest. Now a second one awaits us and it's quite similar, only now it's lava. It's not an ordeal, it's just made for kids. I thought we'd be struggling, but it's so far so easy. Don't say that before you get to the end. We have to go as carefully as possible, but don't forget about speed. I'm afraid that at this rate we really might not make it. I don't want to be a zombie. Not again, Mikey. Be patient a little longer, JJ. There's only a couple of turns left and we'll probably go to the end, so there's no time to get upset. The acceleration lanes are next. It's a breeze. Why do we have to face such boring challenges? Apparently that man doesn't want us to fall into one of his serious traps, so he just mocks us. Yoo-hoo! We finally made it through it! Let's hurry down and see if we've been tricked with this antidote. We need at least a little break. I'm really tired of going back and forth, even though I don't want to be a zombie, but we need to rest. When this is all over, all we'll be doing is celebrating our big victory. That's why we don't have any other options. JJ, look! This really is some kind of antidote. We did it, yoo-hoo! Yeah! That's just unbelievable. Are we gonna drink it now or when? No, we need to drink it in front of the doctor so she can help us in case of anything or copy this antidote for the next residence. You're totally right, Mikey. You really do think like a true genius. We need to copy it all so no one can get infected by his virus. Come on, we need to get back as fast as possible. The doctor is waiting for us and we mustn't let her down. Yes, we'll go back much faster than we went forward. JJ, we turned into zombies even more while we were walking. Now the sunlight scares us and we're going to burn. Be careful with that and don't step in the light. That will be our biggest problem. We have to get to the doctor. Let's run as fast as we can. Ouch! I'm in a lot of pain from this fire, but it just adds to my motivation to get to the doctor already. Keep up, JJ, we have to save all the possible villagers who have been hit by this contagion. We are the real heroes. You're right, if they don't throw us some kind of cool party to celebrate saving the whole village, I'm going to get really mad at them and destroy everything here. Phew, we made it. Doctor, we managed to get the cure. You have to copy it and we'll drink it. Sure, you're doing great. Here's another remedy based on the basic one. Yahoo, we were able to beat the virus. Mikey, you're not a zombie anymore. I'm not a zombie anymore. That's a 100% victory over the virus. I can start a whole company and create lots of antidotes to protect the villagers from this infection. That's just great news, just the way I wanted it. We're not zombies anymore, so we can have a great vacation. After our vacation, we'll be sure to find the bandit who spilled that puddle in front of our house. We'll catch him and bring him to justice. You're right, you can't keep such dangerous people at large. They should be arrested and put in jail for the acts they do. It's a good thing we're going to rest now. I've been waiting for this for so long. Since you saved the village, I think the villagers would want to thank you from the bottom of their hearts. So buy whatever you want, eat, drink, everything is free for you. That's great news! Friends, we're going to celebrate our victory.